Hey, uh, my opinion, easiest way to play in the key of D. Um, okay, I'll show you the chords and then I'll get you teaching them. So anyway, uh, key of D, you know, one of the ones where I, I see people struggle on a lot of times is that B minor, you know, so it's a nice easy way to do a B minor, um, and just, I know as professionals it's kind of like, not all of them do it this way, um, but they're my favorite for, for the key of D usually. Um, so anyway, here's what I'm doing. The D chord, you can do just normal, so these guys are on the second fret, first and third string, this guy's on the third fret. Uh, second string, I'll shoot for it in four strings there. Also, a lot of times, I really like the sound of it minus the middle finger. Just letting that bottom string ring open. It's a D2. All right, then when I used to do my A, I'll keep the ring finger there for almost every single one of the chords. All right, uh, then these guys right there on the third and fourth string, shooting for it in five. It's kind of an A suspended, but I, I, I use it as an A. It works just fine as an A in the key of D. To get to a B minor, um, I'm using these guys on the fifth string and the third string there. Shooting for hitting five. Kind of a tip on this as well. I don't want the sixth string to ring. So what I do is uh, this pointer finger, what I do is I press down that fifth string, but then I also, I just, I kind of like cheat over up on the sixth side, and so it's barely touching that sixth string. So really, you won't hear any of a ring. If I play all six, you'll only hear five ring. You won't hear that one ring. Good. So that's a way of doing a B minor, um, kind of an easy way. And then for the G, keep your first finger where it is. This comes to the third fret, 6th string, pinky comes down to the 1st string, 3rd fret, alright, so now we have D, A, B minor, G, which are the main chords you'll ever need for key of, key of D, um, E minor, you'll see occasionally, so that I take my pinky off for, you can leave it on or take it off, doesn't matter really. Um, and these guys are on the 2nd fret, 5th string, 4th string. Then you'll see an F sharp minor, a uh, couple different ways that I'll do that. Sometimes I'll just do it as a D over F sharp. So I'll take my D, either with the middle finger to on or off. Um, that doesn't matter so much. And I'll put my thumb over the top on that 2nd fret, 6th uh, string. Sometimes I'll use that as an F-sharp minor. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes not as much. Uh, the more common F-sharp minor that I'll use is where I have to finally take off my, my ring finger. And I keep my first finger where it is, like as a D. And then I put these guys on the 5th string and 4th string on the 4th fret there. It's a nice sounding F-sharp minor. I like that one. So really with that, you can play... With all those chords, you can play 99% of the songs in the key of D. Easiest way, I think, personally. Um, every once in a while, you'll see it go from a D to a C. Um, and that stays in the, that's in the key of D, but uh, like Sweet Home Alabama does that chord progression. A lot of old kind of classical rock songs do that. So anyway. Uh, usually well, the way I'll do is C if I'm in this D position. Keep the ring finger there again. And then pinky stays off. Or it could be on, doesn't matter. Um, and then it looks like a G, but just down by one. This is on the fifth string now. This is on the fourth string. It's kind of a C add nine. Good. So those are the chords that I use uh, for the easiest way to play in the key of D. Thanks. See you.